Hello, Beach Body Champions! I hope you guys are doing fantastic um, on this beautiful, beautiful Tuesday here. Well, it's beautiful here in Texas. Um, I'm gonna give it a minute or two and uh, just let a few of you hop on. And when you can, if you are hopping on, let me know that you can hear me and uh, let me know where you're from. Um, I am right now in North Texas and it is a beautiful 70 something degree February day here. So um, I'm gonna give it a minute and just let a few more people hop on and we will get started. Um, so for those of you guys who, um, who don't know me, hi. Um, Hey, Amanda. Um, my name is Brianne Wetzel, and I have been a coach for just over six years now, which is crazy um, because I feel like the last three or four years have absolutely flown by. Hey, Joanne. So, Joanne, you're in Dallas. I am up in Prosper, so not far from you guys. Um, hi Becky. Hi guys. Okay. So you guys can hear me. That's good. So like I said, I have been a coach for just over six years. I signed up in January of 2013. Um, I have been married to my husband for just over, well, almost 13 years now. Um, we have three children. We have um, an 11 year old daughter, a seven year old daughter, and a two year old son. So I started this business um, when my older two were tiny. They were five and just over a year. So they have grown up in the Beachbody family, um, which is pretty cool. So um, they love it. And I got started in this business. I was a $39 sign up no challenge pack, um, for the Shakeology discount. So, um, that's how I started my business. Um, Hey Dave. Um, I have been a coach, like I said, for six years. Um, our team is, um, an eight star diamond team. Um, we are a three time elite team. Uh, I have some pretty amazing people and some pretty amazing leaders on my team. Um, and this has just been, an incredible journey for us. Um, so I hope that I can add some value to you guys today. Hey Blair. Um, so I have sort of come on and I've seen everybody's action hours and some stuff I do a little bit differently. Um, some stuff is pretty similar. Um, what I love about these is you guys just have to kind of find what's going to work best for you. Um, there's going to be somebody that's going to come on, whether it's me, whether it was somebody that's been on in the last couple weeks, whether it's somebody that's coming on in the next few weeks, that me or one of them is going to sit down and do an action hour and you're going to go, that's it. That's exactly how I work and it's all going to click. Um, so if you're a newer coach, don't feel overwhelmed by it um, because at the end of the day, I tell my team all the time, while this business may not always be easy, it's always simple. Um, and it always just breaks down to taking action and doing those things. Don't get sucked up in all the training and don't get sucked up in all this. You've got to take action. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, I'm going to move through this a little faster than I normally would so that I can get everything in um, for you guys because I know some of you use Facebook, some of you use Instagram, some of you use both. Um, so I'm gonna try to go through basically what I do uh, to grow my business and hopefully it will be helpful. Um, so I know last week when Nicole came on, she talked about um, sitting down and putting on music that will pump you up. Um, hey, Sabrina. Sabrina is one of my leaders and she is incredible. If you're in the upstate New York area, you should follow her because she's fantastic. Um, she, uh, Nicole talked about having a, a song or an, like an anthem that would come on and sort of, um, pump you up. And I do the same thing. You know, I 
turn on my music after I get my workout in, I come down here, I turn on music, get all my stuff together, and I sit down and get to work. So whether you are somebody who um, plays music or you are somebody who will sit down and sort of get your affirmations in for the day, I do my affirmations in the morning with my personal development, um, and then again at night. So I don't do them during this action hour. This action hour is about me sitting at my desk, um, when there's no children around and focusing on this work. And it wasn't always this way. Um, I built my business with my two older ones under my feet um, until they were both in school full time. And my middle one just went to kindergarten last year. So I've always had at least one home with me. Um, so I can tell you that it's doable if you can take one hour or two hours or whatever you wanna dedicate to your business and make those actionable. Um, not scrolling and saying that, you know, you didn't get anything done or you worked. Um, hi, Crystal. So um, I'm gonna sort of jump in and let you guys, and kind of give you guys the order in which I do my work and stuff when I come into my office. Um, for me, this is how it flows best. Maybe it will work for you guys. Um, so I know people ask all the time about um, what do you use to track? Um, in the very beginning, I was a pen and paper person. Um, I still am to a point. Um, I carry a notebook with me everywhere I go um, because I don't always have access to my computer to track everybody. Um, so I always have a notebook with me. Um, and the front half of it is for Facebook and the back half of it is for, um, Instagram. And, um, maybe it's an extra step or two, but it's how I work best. Um, some people like to use streak. Some people I know are big fans of Teamsy. Um, I tried Teamsy for a while. I think it's great. If you love it, then stick with it. Um, for me, the way my brain works, I didn't love it. Um, I use my connection builder. Um, and I love it and I love that for newer coaches, if you are unsure, um, there's a $5 option for it. So, um, not to plug it, but I like it and it's great for me to share with my coaches for that. Um, and I use it to really track my invites, the people that I'm talking to and my follow-ups, um, because that's where... That's where the magic in your business is gonna happen. You have to keep that funnel full. Um, so the first thing that I do when I come in, um, when I come into my office and I sit down, is I open up my connection builder. And when I open it up, it'll show right on the screen who my follow-ups are for that day. Um, hi, Rachel. So um, I will go through those and those will be from Facebook and, and Instagram. Um, depending on the day, I'll do everything all at once. Um, on a day like today, which actually is a pretty good example, it's Tuesday, um, I will do all of my Facebook while I'm here. Um, and uh, my middle daughter goes to dance on Tuesdays and I have two hours to sit in the dance studio. So I do all of my Instagram and all my phone stuff while I'm sitting there um, waiting for her. So we'll go through Facebook um, and then I'll share about what I do on Instagram as we go through. So if you have um, follow-ups or you're not sure who you need to follow up with, um, take a few minutes and go through your messages, go through your list and either start your follow-ups or put your list together of people that you need to follow up with. Um, when I'm going back and forth with someone, I usually give it like a full 24 hours and then I follow back up because people get crazy. I miss messages too. Um, sometimes it's just a chaotic day for people. So take a few minutes, go through um, your Facebook messages, go through your texts if you have emails that are sitting there, um, on, if you're working on Instagram, Go through your DMs. A lot of times, if you're not following them, it shows up in your request folder. Um, so go through, make your list of who 
you're gonna follow up with. Um, and my follow-up messages, I am not a, a fan of scripts because I don't think they ever sound like me, like I can sound. Um, so a lot of mine is just like, did you have, you know, did you have questions or you've checked out, you know, the information in our Transform 20 launch group. I just wanted to circle back and see, um, see if you had additional questions, if you were ready to get started. Um, something it's just as simple as, you know, we talked about this, but I never got, I never heard what flavor of Shakeology you wanted to, you want to get to get started. Even if we didn't get that far in the conversation, it, it'll get them thinking again. Um, but just sound like you. Um, I think that's the, that's the biggest thing is people don't want to be pitched. They want to have a conversation. Um, so when you're, when you're doing your follow-ups, of course, make sure that it sounds, that it's coming from, from, from you and not from a script. Um, so take a couple minutes and go through or make a list of your follow-ups. And um, let me know how many you have, how many people you're gonna follow up with today. Um, because you should be following up with at least five to 10 people a day, if not more. Okay, now we're gonna start the awkward silences while everybody works for a few minutes. Okay, Andrea, then make sure, don't say only five because five is great. So, you know, um, make sure that you turn those follow-ups into like into actual um, conversations. I always try to not make it a one or two sentence kind of thing, but to really sort of figure out if they do have an objection, like where, you know, where they're coming from. Um, and maybe sort of see how I can help them. minute and then we'll move on to the next thing how many of you guys are using the new success club system tracker and if you're using it do you love it because um, I like it I loved when we were testing it and um, my coaches had such a great response to it and um, it's great for coaches of any level um, especially if you feel like you're getting off track, um, it's a great thing to sort of circle back and say, um, these are the only things that I really, really, really need to do. Oh, that's a great idea, Andrea. You have it laminated and then what, like a dry erase marker on it week to week. Um, that's a great idea. I know I've seen people, um, print out, what is it, 52 of them and put them all in a binder to use for the whole year, I think that's a great thing. Um, I have mine um, on my iPad because along with my notebook, I tend to take that wherever I go. Um, and I use the Notability app with the Apple Pencil so you can just sort of, you know, fill it in for the whole week and then clear it out and start again um, because I'm forever printing out stuff like this on paper um, and it getting lost or left somewhere. Hi, Megan. Um, so that's what I do. So I start with follow-ups and I know some people may not. Um, but for me, um, this is sort of how it works. Um, Christine, well, that's true. It would definitely hold you accountable. Hold on. I want to go back and see Caitlin's question. What if you don't have too many followers? I try to be interactive and start non fitness related conversations 
but no one is engaging. My DMs are pretty empty. So, Caitlin, a couple of things. It's not about the number of followers that you have. It's really about engaging with the ones that you have and making sure that they sort of are the people that, you know, are the people that you're looking for. Um, because it doesn't matter if you have a bajillion followers, if they're not interested in, you know, what you have, what you have to offer. You want to make sure that you have that, um, that engagement. So the best thing that I can say is to start those conversations. Now, sometimes that, sometimes that's a little more difficult on, um, on Instagram. I don't know if you're talking about Instagram or Facebook, but if it's on Facebook, you got to go to their page, girl, and you got to interact with them over there and you have to see what they enjoy and see what you have in common with them. Um, and if it's on Instagram, go watch their stories or check and see if they're watching yours. And that's a great way to sort of um, kind of start that interaction. Um, if I, especially on Instagram, if I'm, you know, looking at somebody, I'm always going to leave a comment somewhere, um, on Instagram. So you always want to make sure that you're, you know, commenting on their photos and initiating that kind of conversation. And if they have, if they're using Instagram stories, um, which I'll get to in a minute, um, but I'll answer this now is, um, reply back to their stories and just ask, you know, ask a general question or cheer them on or, you know, share something that, you know, that they're doing that you do or that you guys have in common or something as simple as like you like what they're doing or maybe they're reading a book that you like. Um, you know, you want to just sort of start that, that interaction with them so that you do develop that relationship. Um, so after my follow-ups, um, this is how I tend to work is I go back to my previous, my posts from the day before. Um, and I go and I see who liked them, um, or who commented on them, especially if, um, I posted like a, a recipe or I will post some sort of, um, call to action, but not necessarily for um, a challenge group or the coaching opportunity every day, but it's always some sort of call to action, whether it's about, um, you know, asking, asking a question or um, showing gratitude or showing, you know, um, you know, my, my progress, whether it's, you know, financial or fitness transformation or just my, you know, mental health over the last six years. So I always include something in my posts each day that will have like, you know, drop a, drop a gift. Those of you guys who know me know, like I could have an entire conversation in gifts, um, or drop an emoji or things like that. Um, so I always go back to those posts first. Um, and especially if there is a call to action on them about, you know, joining a challenge group or learning more about the opportunity or anything that's sort of related to that, um, as I even not, even, it doesn't even have to be a comment. If they liked the post, those are the new conversations that I'm going to start. Um, and if you're not even having, um, you're not even connecting with the people that are you're only waiting for comments you're missing a lot, a lot of people. Um, and about a year ago, I didn't do this. So I have to send the credit to a girl from my mastermind who shared this great tip and it's been huge for me. Um, so if they liked my post, um, especially if it's about, you know, um, like a challenge group, um, you know, I'll message them, um, them and I'll say like, you know, hey, like, thanks so much for the like on my post. I'm not sure if you're if you're just being incredibly supportive, which I totally appreciate, or you're kind of interested in learning a little bit more about our new 20 minute workout. Would you like me to add you to our preview group so you can check it out? And it's it's a really simple way to start an entire conversation. And either they're gonna say, yeah, sure, I'll check it out. Um, or they'll say like, not right now, but I like, I love watching your posts. I'm so happy to support you. Um, but that's a great way to start new conversations, especially with people who kind of maybe on the fence, um, but aren't quite ready to 
leave that comment or to reach out to you. Um, so I go back through those posts and I send that message. And I spend about 15 minutes on it. Um, and if I run out of that time, I usually will always set a timer on my phone. Um, cause otherwise I'll get sucked into something and I want to make sure I always get through everything I need to get through and then I'll circle back, um, and do more. But that's a great way, um, whether you're on Facebook or you're on Instagram, just to sort of start to connect with people. It's a great way to sort of start your new conversations um, you don't feel like you're sending a totally cold invite because they've been interacting on your posts. So that's a great, that's a great thing to do. So here's a good lesson. If you don't have a post from like early this morning um, or last night or yesterday that, you know, would sort of serve the, this purpose, then make sure that you're including those kind of things in your social media um, because you can post great content all the time um, and I see it I see so many coaches who post incredible incredible content um, but they don't always include a call to action um, or if they do they may not be inviting off of that call to action based on likes on the post maybe they're just waiting for people to comment and it's not a bad thing to have a hundred and something likes on a post, but you know, you've got five comments. That's a hundred and something people that you can reach out to, you know, assuming they're not all, you know, they're all non coaches. Um, so whether you're going to send invites now, um, or you're going to sort of start your list of who you're going to, who you're going to talk to, um, go back, take a few minutes and go back through your posts. Um, from yesterday and even you know early this morning if you posted a transformation Tuesday post and it's got some traction um, go back through that and that's a great way to um, initiate new conversations so what I would do is I would start these conversations and then I add them into my connection builder um, and uh, when I do it on and I'm not in front, like in front of my computer, like I'll do my Instagram ones later today. Um, I'll put them all down in my notebook and then, um, I'll track the ones that respond, um, in my connection builder. Like I'll do that and then I'll load them in tonight, um, when I get home. So, um, that way at least I have some sort of thing and then I'm not sitting there on my phone trying to, um, you know, enter everything back in, but take a few minutes and um, either start to reach out to some people or put a list together of who you're going to invite today. Um, and you can put this under, I mean, under your, your new likes and comments. You could put it under your inviting people. You can put it under, you know, it, that's the cool, that's the, that's the cool thing about this. Um, and I like it because, um, I don't feel like I'm sending cold invites. Um, so take a couple minutes and go through, go through that. And let me know if you guys have questions. Um, and a lot of this, you guys can be done all at once. Um, do I go back through old posts? Um, like ever or to invite to. Um, I mean, I've had some posts that over the years have always gotten really good traction um, and I'll keep them and I'll repurpose them and maybe change the photo, um, you know, and use them months later or a year later. Um, but as far as going through old posts to like invite off of, usually not more, um, than a day or two uh, because Facebook tends to move so fast um, that I, you kind of don't want to, you kind of don't want to do that. Um, I wouldn't go back more than a couple of days. Um, but what I will say is if you have a post that is getting, um, where did you say you're adding them? 
build connections. Um, oh, I val I use my connection builder um, just to track them. Um, but I didn't get to adding people to my network yet, if that's what your question is. Um, but what I will say, uh, who's that? Was that Charmian that asked? Yes. So what I will say is if you have a post that's getting a lot of traction, um, we saw this a lot. And if any of my coaches are on this now, they can, they can sort of attest to this when we, um, when to be mindset launched is, if you've got a really great post that's getting a lot of traction, we talked a lot about our um, you know, our launch group for To Be Mindset, and we had a, a few posts, I had a few posts that got a ton of traction. Um, and uh, by commenting on each, on each, whenever somebody said like, yes, or they you know put an emoji or something like that, I would always reply back and say like, I'll add you to the group or I'm sending you a message, um, you know, with the link to the group, the sneak peek group to, to try out. Um, but when a post has that much traction and that much engagement on Facebook, Facebook wants to see posts that have a lot of engagement, right? So I have gone back and two or three weeks at, or two weeks after I've made that post, gone to the bottom and commented and said like, this group is blowing up. This is unbelievable. Like we're so excited. There's still room in the launch group if you want to check out the information. Um, and that does a couple of things. It'll bump it back into your feed because it was a post that had so much engagement. Um, and the other thing it'll do is it'll give everybody else that commented on it another alert about this post to sort of bring them bring them back. Um, so when you're doing, when you have a post like that and you're going back constantly and, and following up with people that have liked and commented on it, um, comment yourself back cause it'll bump it back into your feed. Um, oh, like add in a note. Oh, Valerie, I just, if I'm not by my computer, I just add the people that I'm talking with into my notebook so I can put them in, in my, um, in my tracker later. Um, but that's all, that's all that is. I track, um. The people that I'm talking to and if I'm not in front of my computer um, I use my notebook so that I can add them in later um, so if you don't have posts like that that you feel like you can go back off of um, it's a good time to sort of take a look at the content that you're posting um, on social media and maybe it's time to tweak it a little bit and, um, you know, add a little more value, share your story. If you're a newer coach and you maybe don't have a transformation yet, there's so many that you can share. Um, there's so many, um, health transformations, you know, fitness transformations, ultimate reset, things like that. There's so many things that you can share, um, whether they're resources in here or resources from the back office. Um, we use when new coaches come onto our team, we have a 30 day um, social media posting guide. I'll post that in the comments here after the video, um, after I'm done so you guys can see it. And it's just a great sort of tool. You don't have to use it every single day, but if you ever feel like you're struggling um, for an idea for some sort of content that day, it'll just sort of give you um, like a topic, like something to share about if you know, you're kind of unsure about what to share. Um, so after I do that and after I do that and I start those conversations, then I turn to groups. And when I see groups, I am talking about any kind of Facebook group that I would be in. Um, my challenge groups, I will check in there, um, share that I did my workout. Um, if I've gotten my shake in already that day, I'll share that, um, add value in there, check in with my challengers, um, go into my team page, see what's going on in there. Um, and then from there I go into my interest groups that I'm in for things that I, that I love. Um, and I go and I connect with people in there. Um, so if you're not in 
interest groups for things that you love. You're missing a whole bunch of people um, who very easily could be your, your perfect kind of market. Um, you know, we have play groups in my neighborhood. There's play group, you know, there's um, grade level groups for my, for my older kids. There are, you know, groups that I am in for um, podcasts and, you know, other things that I love. So I go and I spend not a ton of time because it's very easy to get sucked into those groups. I, um, once I'm done with my, with my challenge groups and my team page and all of those things, um, I set a timer on my phone. I try not to spend more than about 15 minutes in there because in through these groups, because it's very, very easy to get sucked in, um, and then notifications and you're going back and forth and there's a million things going on. So um, I go through them and if there's, you know, posts I'm interested in or there's new stuff in there, um, you know, as you join these groups, you'll start to see people that will post stuff that you'll resonate with or, you know, you find yourself liking commenting on certain people's posts. And after a while, after that interaction comes, um, you know, if they haven't sent me a friend request, I will send them a friend request. So they know that I really do want to get to learn. I really do want to learn more about them. Um, and it's not just, I came into this group. I've never spoken to, I've never commented on anything. I've never liked anything, but now I'm going to send you a friend request because that's a really good way to get yourself blocked and for people to think that you're being icky. Um, so if you're not in interest groups, join a couple. Um, you know, if you have a pet, um, I don't, but, um, you know, if you've got a pet, if you are, um, if you're a runner, if you, um, I don't know if you're like me, like I'm in a handful of book clubs, um, things like that. It's a really great way to, um, to meet people that have interests that are similar to yours. Um, and that's not something that will develop overnight, but you'll slowly bring these people into your warm market. And as you start to develop a relationship with them in that group, you'll develop a relationship with them on their own page and on your own page. Um, and they will gradually just sort of fold into your warm market. Um, and I usually will go through and, um, we'll add you know, five, maybe 10 people that I've been back and forth with for, you know, I usually give it a couple weeks of sort of back and forth with somebody um, or liking their posts or, you know, having interaction with them in a group before I send them um, a friend request. So, um, but share with me um, for people who may not be in interest groups, if you're in like interest groups, share like with me here or with the people that are watching, what kind of groups you're in. Um, like I am in a couple of different, I'm in a couple of different book clubs. I am in, um, a, uh, Facebook group for, um, my friend's podcast. Uh, for those of you guys who, um, may have been real world fans back in the day, I am a huge, um, challenge fan, huge fan of the challenge. Um, so I'm in a couple of groups for those. Um, but those are things that I you know, that I like. And those are things that, you know, I do, even if it's just a show you watch. I know so many people, there's like a, this is up group. Uh, this is us group. Um, Hannah book clubs galore and bunny. Oh, bunnies. That's precious. Um, uh, my oldest loves bunnies. Um, book clubs are great. Um, you meet so many people. It sort of opens your mind to so many different things. I read so many books last year that I never even thought I would have never even considered. Um, I teach at home through another company, so I'm in a lot for that. Um, but also big brother, right. So like there's so many groups for, t you know, for TV shows. Um, so even if it's just a TV show that you love, um, depending on the show, sometimes the groups are super active. Sometimes, you know, sometimes they're not, but either way, it's, um, it's a great way to, you know, to meet people. Some of the book club groups that I'm in are super active. Um, I'm in a Facebook group for like people that read John Grisham books. That one is not so active, but it's kind of nice when people do start to interact in there because I get to learn more about the bachelor fans. That's a huge one. Um, I feel like bachelor nation is like its own, 
whole world. Um, yeah, moms groups, like we have pages, like, right, we have pages in our neighborhood, we have pages for our town, we have pages for our school district. Um, there's so many of them and it's so nice to be able to interact with people because especially when you're interacting with people, um, genuinely, even if they may not be interested in what you have to offer, they may still know what you do. Um, and because you have not spammed them, when somebody else asks, they're much more likely um, to recommend you. So that's another thing. Um, so I love that you guys are sharing these kind of interest groups. I would say if you're not in any, or if you're only in one or two, I would try to make sure you're in a, about five or six, um, just because you'll get a bunch of different people sort of feel it out. Sometimes you join a group, it's not exactly what you thought it was um, or what it would be. And uh, you wanna leave it and that's fine. I unfollow a lot, I leave them um, because sometimes it, it, doesn't, it doesn't serve the purpose that I joined the group for, which is to um, either learn more about people or join another book club or you know things like that. Um, so if you're not in an interest group, try to join a few and I would make sure that you're in at least five um, so that it will help you grow your market. It will help you meet new people. Um, and the Instagram side to that would be to follow hashtags. Um, they're a great way to follow people. They're a great way to grow your following. Um, and a great way to find people that you resonate with. If you're in a book club, there's a chillion book club hashtags um, on Instagram that you can follow. Um, if you, well, I'll talk a little bit about um, Instagram since we have a little bit of time. Um, and I'll sort of tell you guys how, what I do on Instagram during my hour um, or during my time that I am working. Um, I do use Instagram stories. Um, I try to be as consistent as I possibly can with them. Sometimes I, sometimes I just don't have a lot to say. So I don't say it. Um, people will always know when I have my first cup of coffee in the morning because I'm always sharing it. Sometimes it's before I get the kids out the door. Sometimes it's after, depending on the morning. But I always share that and I always share the page from my, from my daily reader as my day starts. Some days, that's all I share. That's all I shared on Sunday. I just didn't really have anything to say. So we kind of just hung out at home and I didn't feel the need to um, to get on social. And sometimes it's nice to sort of take that, you know, take that little break. Um, but I will always share, you know, what's going on in the morning in my house, whether it's been chaotic or not. Um, if you followed me, you have seen the story, the saga of me trying to get my kids' passports for the last couple days. Um, but silly stuff like that, and like to everybody else, it's silly to me, it was a, it was a very chaotic day the last couple days. But um, that sort of stuff is what I get so many replies back on um, because people will ask questions about it and people will resonate with it and it's a great way to just sort of open up that, you know, that conversation. Why do you need passports? Where are you going? We're going on a cruise because we earned it through our company. I'm able to take my husband and three kids on a cruise next month. Um, and my girls don't have passports. So, you know, it's a great way to sort of say, well, what do you do that you guys earned the, you know, earned this cruise? Well, let me tell you about what we do. Um, and that's a great thing. I will always share, um, making my energize a clip or two from my workout. Um, now I'm sharing, you know, my, my transformer numbers week over week. Um, while we're doing this program um, and just a little bit about my day. Um, and I try to share as much as I can because everybody's busy. We're all busy. You've heard me, I've got three kids. They're all in, they're in activities. They're in stuff after school. Um, and it's really to show that it, you can always fit this business in around your life. You don't have to feel like you're chained to a desk um, for hours. All you really need is Wi-Fi you know, I'm a few minutes to kill, um, to sort of get some work done. Um, so I like to share a lot of that to let people see that it doesn't have to be 
like this full-time work from home nine to five if you can do it part-time you can do it as you know as much or as little as you want um so I shared that a lot um and then um I do a ton of like polls I do a ton of questions um and it's a great way to get people to interact um, some of my favorite ones to do are just asking people what book they're reading, whether it's a personal development book or they're reading a book for their book club, because it's so great to a get more tips and people love when you share their replies. I share the reply. I tag them. I let them know if I've read the book or I answer their question, um, you know, and sort of, and sort of talk about it. Um, you know, anybody who will follow me knows that pretty much in the afternoons, um, you know, if we're running around, I've got my shake in one hand and a, a couple of bars in the other um, because that's what happens. We pick everybody up from school and there's, you know, beach bars in the car and the girls will come home. They'll make shakes and we'll get in the car and go wherever we need to go. Um, and then, you know, shout outs, recognition. I will welcome new coaches on my stories, um, which, of course, makes them feel special because they're getting a shout out. And it lets people know something's going on. Something's exciting. People are joining her. What is she doing? I want to know more. Um, Susan, yeah. And like if you work full time, it's, it's hard. Um, but if, you know, you can find, you know, I, in the beginning, I did not sit down and do a full power hour. I had little ones at home and I sat down when I could and it was 10 minutes here 15 minutes there if they were occupied maybe I would get you know 20 minutes in at one time and that was usually rare and then it was when they went to bed I could sit down and say okay let me try to get like an hour of like focused work in and that ended up being catching up on everything else and sort of figuring out what I did get accomplished that day um and sort of moving forward, which is actually why I carry a notebook now, because it would take so much time to go through everything um, that I couldn't remember what I did three hours, three hours before. Um, Megan, if you don't have a lot of followers, you can. That's a great idea. That is it. Megan said, um, I was talking about, you know, I try to interact with people through asking questions. And Megan said, if you don't have a lot of followers, you can reply to yourself and encourage others to share too. That's a great tip. So like if you're posting something, and you know a question you're like what do you want to know about transform 20 and people aren't responding you can respond to yourself what do you love about it i love that it is 20 minutes i love that if i have to be somewhere in an hour i can still get my workout done get changed either take a quick shower or dry shampoo my hair and get out the door if i have somewhere to be i that's what i love about it i love that it goes so fast I love that I compete against myself. That's a great, that's a great tip. And I never, I never would have thought of that. Um, and then the way that I usually invite off of Instagram is I first go to the people that are watching my stories, especially the same people. It's like Facebook, except you can see that they're, that you can see that they're following you. We always talk about that on Facebook, there are, people who are sort of not stalking you in a creepy way, but they're checking out what you're doing. They may not be ready to um, like, like your post yet, or they may not be ready to comment on your post yet, but they're, they're watching what you're doing. Um, and Instagram is the same way, except now they can watch your stories and you can see. And if you have the same people watching them over and over and over and over again, I will always include call to actions in my stories, whether it's an invite to a sneak peek, um, we've been doing them weekly, um, whether it is an invite to um, a challenge group, um, which I share a, a few times a week, um, a call to action about a challenge group. And it's always like, you know, I, I, look, I wanna start now or I, I want more information. There's never a no in there um, because that way, whatever they answer, they're getting a message, right? So I will go always go through and like message the people that obviously answered a poll or I will message the people who, you know, I'll, I'll, if they ask, answer a question, I'll, you know, sh I'll share it 
and I'll, you know, talk about it. Um, but I will always message them directly as well and say like, thank you. Like, thanks so much for the question. I, I posted it on my story. Um, you know, I, like, I hope that it was helpful or like, I love that book that you recommended. It, it's been on my list or like, you're the third person to tell me I have to read this. Um, things like that. And then, uh, then what I'll do is I go and I see who's watching my stories. Those are the first people that I invite because they already want to know what I'm doing. They already see it each day. So those are the people that I'm going to reach out to first. And again, it's not some fancy message. It's usually super simple. It's like, Hey girl, like, Hey, um, whether it's, Hey girl, or just like, you know, Hey, so-and-so if I, if they have their first name, um, like on their, on their Instagram profile, which some people don't, um, so if they have it there, I try to, I try to call them by their first name. Um, and it's really just like, I'm not sure if you saw my story. Like, I hope that you're doing well. I'm not sure if you saw my story, which they did. It's why I'm messaging them. But you know, um, I am getting ready to, you know, start up the next round of, you know, our support group or, you know, the next round of people who are going to start our 20 minute program with us. Um, would you like to get the information? super simple. And sometimes they reply and sometimes they don't. And whether I, um, whether they reply or not, I write them down, I write their name down, you know, their Instagram handle down. And, um, then I track the replies. So I'm not constantly entering. Um, I invite a lot off of Instagram. I invite probably 40 or 50 a day just off of, um, Instagram. So I don't track every single person that I send a message to, I track the people who will reply back to me that will, when we open up that conversation. So once they reply back, um, I will either like highlight that, like highlight their name on my, you know, my notebook or whatever, or I'll circle it, um, or something so that when I come back into my office at night, um, I can enter them and then I enter them to sort of follow up with and rinse and repeat. Um, and that's really it. Um, that's how I do it. So I know that I talked a lot and there wasn't a ton of downtime. Um, but I wanted to make sure that I at least got all of this information out to you guys, um, to show you what I do, um, how I do it. Um, but we have a few minutes left. So do you guys have questions on anything? Um, is there anything, um, that you would like me to circle back to? Um, I'm going to share the, um, social media calendar in the comments here, um, after we're done with this video, but, um, we have a few minutes left. If you guys have, um, any questions on anything I covered or anything that you want to know, um, or anything that you wanted me to circle back to. seeing if there were if there were questions here that that I missed. I think I got everybody. Since you said you use your iPad a lot, must have apps for organization or helping run your business. Um, not really. I don't, I do use my iPad a lot. Um, but honestly I use Notability a lot, um, because I can put, you know, stuff like the, um, like the tracker stuff on there. Um, the, uh, transform 20 guide, um, I was in the test group for it. So when they sent us the materials, it was all digital. So rather than having it bound and printed, Hey Julie, I didn't know you were on here. Um, rather than having it bound and printed, I used it through, through there. Um, 
you know, things like that. Um, but other than that, I mean, I use email. Do I follow other Beachbody coaches on Instagram that start following you? Sometimes. It, I mean, if they're providing good content, yeah. I mean, I like content. I like seeing people that are, you know, positive and happy and, um, you know, sometimes, um, I try to follow most of my team. So at least, you know, I can see, you know, what they're up to and how they're doing and how they're, you know, how they're building their following. Um, sometimes I'll follow them back and not even, you know, sometimes I'll follow coaches back and not realize that they're coaches. Um, but you know, it's not like I'm definitely not going to follow you, um, because you're a coach, but if you're posting generic pictures of your bag of Shakeology, I probably, probably won't. Um, because you want to talk about, you want it to be, you know, product placement, not a sales pitch in a post. Um, you know, people that, you know, will know me, will see like, I'm, I'll be carrying, like, I'll be carrying this around. And after a while they'll say like, you know, like what's like, what's that sleeve on your cup or what's, you know, what's that? Or, you know, what's the, what's the bar that you're eating or, you know, what is that stuff that you're drinking every single day before you, you know, before you take your workout? Um, before you do your workout, but um, I mean, sometimes it's not like I'm definitely not gonna, not gonna follow somebody back. Um, I guess it just sort of, I guess it just sort of depends. So let me pose. Let me see if I can pull this up while we're in here. Let's see if I can post. this social media thing for you guys. Um, I'll put it in a separate post in this page too. Um, so that you guys can have it without having to dig through the comments. But let's see. Um, I have my iPad hung on my computer because I don't have the, I don't use the, um, the webinar zoom. So, um, I am live on my iPad. Let's see if I can find this. No, that's not it. Um, Social media post. Ideas. Let's see if this will work. I'll post the link to it from Google Drive here and let's see if it works. Um, <clears throat> How many people do you have to have under you to pay for the shake so it doesn't come out of pocket? Andrea, you know what? I'm actually glad that you asked that um, because I will tell you that um, that alone was honestly how, why I started to um, build a business. When I started my business, um, we were so super broke. Like broke was like about three steps up um, from where we were. And I did not have the money to drink Shakeology. But I really wanted to because I realized how good it made me feel. And uh, I paid $39 and I got the discount. And uh, <clears throat> my mom at the time was the one who introduced me to Shakeology. And she was like, I think if you get three people to buy Shakeology from you, um, you know, it, covers the, it covers the cost of, of your shake. And I knew nothing about this business. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm fancy. I have like 250 friends on Facebook. I, I thought I was super fancy. Um, and that's and that's how I started my business. And I was like, wow, I could find three people. This stuff is amazing. Um, and that was how I built my business was three people at a time. I figured if I found three people, I could drink it that month. Um, and if I found three more people, 
then my husband could drink it. And if I found three more people, then I made a hundred bucks. Um, and so I just built my business three people at a time. So it's the answer is three. I mean, three customers, three, you know, three, you know, new coaches with challenge packs, three new customers with challenge packs, um, three new Shakeology orders, um, you know, is, is what will cover it. Um, it would be like two annual beach body on demand memberships. Um, you know, there's a ton of ways that you can make a hundred bucks in this business. Um, so don't, you know, most of my followers are from my country, Ecuador. It has been hard for me. Any advice? Um, if you are talking about Instagram, then follow just, you can you can, um, search by places. So you can search, you know, New York city, or you can search Los Angeles or, you know, things like that or smaller cities. Um, and sort of start to connect with people or follow hashtags that people here in the States use, but maybe people in Ecuador, um, may not, you know, may not be using, um, I lost 95, now 20 weeks pregnant and struggling not to gain a lot of weight and need to switch to at home workouts. Yeah. I lifted weights through my whole, through my, through my third pregnancy. Obviously I always talk to your doctor. Um, but you know. I loved working out at home when I was pregnant. Um, it was super, it was a, it was a great thing for me. Um, I am going to share, I'm going to share this. This is going to let me do this here. All right. I'm going to share this in the comments under this, and then I'm going to upload it, um, as a file too. So you guys have it. Um, but I hope that this was really helpful for you guys. Um, I hope that you got some really great tips. Um, if you have any questions, obviously you can always feel free to ask. I'll get an alert if you have questions. I mean, they'll come up as a notification on this post. So, um, that was it guys. I hope you guys have an incredible Tuesday. I hope you guys are kicking butt, um, during this first week of team cup. I hope you guys are killing transform 20. Um, uh, if you haven't caught Kevin's video over in the transform 20 coach test group, um, Go check it out from this morning. It was great. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday and a great rest of the week. Have a great day.